Just, you know, just the type of song you just want to put like a lighter on and just go like, you know, I'm I'm that much of a boomer, yes. <laughs> This is me, Cruel, back again with another narration video on this channel. And today, actually, we have a uh, well, Purpicus solo in a way. This is really interesting. This is Swan from Purpicus with her OST for School 2021, a currently airing K drama, I'm pretty sure. And this is um, an OST called Absently, uh, or also Mong Honey in Korean. And yeah, I've never heard this. I have not seen the drama yet. And um, I'm surprised she has an OST solo. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, Gon also had an OST before they debuted it. Uh, I remember that. That was an amazing, amazing song. Super good vocally. Um, but we all know Swan is crazy. I, I, I mean, I, I literally saw it live in my fan call. So I'm excited for this. Let's get it with Swan's absently live clip. Live as well. Oh my god. Not sure if I'm ready for this, but yeah, that just came out. Let's get it. Oh, cute. Oh, she just appeared. <laughs> Oh, she looks good. I already feel it. <laughs> Her eyes look so big with this makeup. Interesting. God, her pronunciation is so soft. Can only dream of that as a German. The piano is really beautiful, but like most beautiful is really her voice here because what I like about this so far is how ethereal it is. You know, it's pretty much exclusively in the high register, the vocals so far. And she does have, naturally speaking, more so a lower voice, uh, I would say a deeper voice. But this is very high. She's like gently touching the notes. Yeah, Mong Honey. Wow, so effortless. Remember, this is the girl who did uh, Chang Ha's snapping um, guide version. <laughs> the double-edged sword, the two-face, the two-face. Oh my god. Like night and day. That's kind of an orchestra that was introduced just now, by the way. It's becoming more and more active in the back. You go, Swan. You know, that's the type of song you just want to put like a lighter on and just go like, you know, I'm I'm that much of a boomer, yes. <laughs> This is 
is really such an innocent song, right? I, I was pending in my head between wholesome and innocent, but no, innocent really does it for me, <laughs> in my head at least. Um, it's just pure. Pure is a good word too. The vocals, the song. The emotion in the song too. I miss you, huh? She's saying. Chokata is, isn't it like I, I wanna die? Something like that. That's is that the ending? That's a very very sad last uh, sentence. I, I'm not sure the full context, of course, because I. You know, I just understand a few single up words, but I can imagine it's maybe something like a, you know, I miss you so much, I just want to die kind of thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's it, to be honest, but uh, that is one with her solos, T. Absently. I believe this is actually her first real solo song. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember anything else, though, but I believe it is. It was really pretty. She's pretty. I enjoyed that. Oh wow. I really thought it would go in a different direction towards the ending. Like I thought there was more progression in the song, but the song really stayed in this in this mental state of just, you know, slightly being hurt but still being a very pure song and vocal. So trying to imagine what scenes this would fit to in the drama. I don't know what the show is about, but really it, it fits like this is for someone that just got hurt and is like trying to process like it's a it's a state where you're pretty empty in your head and you're like you're just kind of like present with your body but not present with your mind if you feel me it's kind of the type of song i would imagine for that scene because it's it's not really a sad song but it has some sad lyrics right like with the emission and everything so it feels like the person the character that is you know I guess embodied in the song and the emotion has not completely accepted the state or the situation yet. They know that they miss the person, but they're not like accepted or they're not completely. It hasn't sunk in that the person is actually gone for whatever reason they're gone. I don't know, but you know, I feel like that's kind of the state we're in with this. But that's just kind of my my guess here. Uh, that is my relation to Swans uh, absolutely OST live clip. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then you can check out my other purple considerations. I've done a ton, a ton of purple considerations because I love them so, so much. I think almost 30 videos now, which is quite a lot for such a new group, to be honest. Um, I don't even know how I've got to 30, but yeah, that happened. Um, yeah, link to that in the pinned comment. And other than that, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed. Leave some comments as well if you, you know, want to share your opinion. And um, maybe about the drama as well. I would be interested to hear. And that's it. Peace. Thank you.